All right, gang. After show chat peeps, it's Arrow Dufranny with After Show Chat. And today we're in Houma, Louisiana, and we are at Sicily's uh, Buffet, Italian Buffet. And uh, we ate here so long ago, probably it's been at least 10 years since we ate here. It looks pretty popular. There's a lot of people over here. Uh, we're gonna show you real fast. A lot of people in here. Um, what's good about this place, they gave me a senior discount. 55 and over, you get a senior discount. Hey, I'll take it. Cost us uh, 41, $42 for three of us. We have our granddaughter, Kinsey, who's going away for college, uh, leaving Friday. And uh, um, we wanted to come eat in Homer. And uh, we haven't eaten here forever. Figured we'd try it. And... Uh, I'll let y'all know what it's like, but it's Sicily's in Homa, Louisiana. All right, gang. I went for round one. Round one, I got my salad. Very nice salad board. I'm going to go take my camera and show y'all everything later. Uh, but I got my salad. I got a little broccoli soup. Mrs. D got her a salad. We love a salad bar. She got all kind of stuff on her plate, all kind of pizza, fried green beans. Kenzie got her, her salad and a pizza and all kind of good stuff. I'm going to try this. This is broccoli soup now. Let's give this a shot. All right. Here we go. Mm. Good broccoli soup. Not only from a can, but Probably from a can put there by a man. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> that joke up in the corner right there. Oh, hey, look, gang. Can you believe it? Unlike Chili's, they got a salt shaker here. Awesome. Can you believe that? They got salt shakers here. Now, how can you go wrong with a salad? Mmm. So far, so good. I mean, I can't, I can't honestly rate my salad, but the salad bar selection was great. The only thing they had missing was olives. I mean, if we had olives, it would have been even better. But soup is good. They had pickled okra. They had pickled okra. They had pickles, but no olives. But I'm gonna go get round two in one second after I finish this beautiful salad. All right, gang, I'm back. Harold do for any. And uh, I want to get my second round on, on this buffet over here. And uh, let me show you what I got, okay? First off, I got the gumbo. They had gumbo. Chicken and sausage gumbo. They had red beans and rice. Fried chicken liver. I got some cabbage in there. And I got pizza. All the way pizza, it's called. I guess they have everything on there. But, uh... I'm gonna give this a shot and see. Oh, Kenzie's coming back with her second round. She got the gumbo too, and more pizza, and other stuff. But I'm gonna give this a shot right here and let y'all know what I think. Let me put this down right here. There we go. Now I could eat with two hands like a real person. So here we go with the gumbo. Gumbo looks good. That's a good chicken and sausage gumbo there. That's just as good as Carolyn's gum chicken and sausage gumbo. Somebody knows how to make the gumbo back there because this is a good gumbo. It's very good. This gumbo gets an A. I could just make a meal out of this gumbo right here. Let's try the red beans and rice. Standard red beans and rice. Not too much sausage in there. That gumbo gets an A. Red beans, mediocre. I mean, it's a little bit better. Uh, I give the red beans a, a C. Those red beans are average. Yeah, I know I should it, but I got a fried chicken liver. I know I should it, but 
I'm gonna. Good fried chicken liver. Nothing wrong with it. I don't eat too much fried chicken liver. It's not good for you. But I give that a beef for sure. And then I'm gonna try this cabbage before Mrs. D comes back. Cause she's coming back with her second round. Cabbage gets a beef. I mean, yeah, average cabbage. I'll give that a C. Average. And then, yes. Then I will try the pizza. Nothing wrong with the pizza. You got everything on there. Pepperoni, green onions, mushrooms, red onions, all kind of stuff on there. I guess a beef. Good piece of pizza. The only thing that's mediocre is the red beans are a little mediocre and cabbage is a little mediocre, but this gumbo's off the hook over here. Mm. That gumbo is spot on. That gumbo gets an A. They could just sell that gumbo and people would buy it. Chicken liver. Very good. I'll be back. Oh, look. Mrs. D got her a second round. And she got her all kind of pizza, cabbage, meatloaf. Oh, lasagna, red bean. So we'll be back uh, in one sec. Okay, just an update. Like I said before, this gumbo is excellent. One of the highlights of the buffet is this gumbo. The only problem is, you don't know if you can see, but I'm sweating. Because that's why you're not supposed to eat gumbo in the middle of the summer. Because you get hot. So, that gumbo's spot on. Everything else is a buffet. So you get some hits. You know, like the gumbo and the pizza was good. Red beans I found was mediocre. And the cabbage, mediocre. But that's what's about a buffet. You, you, you get some hits and misses. Oh, and look at this. Mrs. D got her dessert. Nice dessert selection over here. I'll tell you what. There's Kenzie's. Mrs. D loves her desserts. I'm a savory guy. So, I'm gonna go for, oh, my nose is leaking. These napkins don't get an F. These napkins ain't work, no. You wipe your mouth one time, look at that, they fall apart on you. Napkins get an F, <laughs> but can't get everything right. But uh, <laughs> I'll be right back. All right, gang, I'm out of uh, Sicily's. Uh, let me walk over here. I don't want to go in the sun, but it is so hot. But uh, I don't know if you can see it right here. Sicily's. Ah, well, <laughs> anyway, Sicily's uh, in Homer, Louisiana. I mean, it's a buffet, cost us 40 bucks for three of us. Um, me and Mrs. D got a, a senior discount. Um, I mean, it's, it was, uh, it was, I'm telling you, there's some good stuff. It's like any other buffet. You know, sometimes you get uh, a hit, sometimes you get a miss, sometimes you get average. Pizza was good. I give pizza all overall was a B. It was, I mean, for a buffet pizza, it was, it was, it was decent. Um, the gumbo was spot on. I'd come back just for the gumbo. Like, uh. Last week, uh, Mrs. D wanted gumbo Sunday, and uh, we didn't know where to go. If I had known about this place, we would have probably came over here just for the gumbo. Um, it was that good. Um, and then you get everything else. You have a decent salad bar. Um, the, uh, uh, they have like fried chicken liver, which I never eat, which I like, but I shouldn't eat it, but it's there. If you want, I could try it. Um, all kind of stuff, a very big variety. I even didn't cover the desserts. Um, I'm not a dessert person, so I didn't even try the desserts. Mrs. D said they were they were okay, um, but again, it's it's a it's a buffet. So anytime you go to a buffet, you're gonna get some stars, you know, some star dishes, and sometimes you're gonna get some mediocre dishes. That's how buffets are. Um, you hopefully you get more stars than than than, than flops. But this is a good little place, um, reasonably priced. 
gumbo's spot on salad was great um can't go wrong sicily's overall experience i'd give it a b we'd definitely come back here overall experience b for sure that's a b on the b the man scale that we don't use no more four crabs on the after show chat scale so gang from home of louisiana this is harold dufrani i'll check you out later i'm walking in this door right here i don't even know what it is but i'm gonna walk in it and see